morning, Stewart's Creek. I'm Catherine Stanley. I'm Mackenzie Neal. And these are your morning announcements. But first, please stand for the pledge, followed by the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The second annual Keep Me Warm project is underway. Skills USA and Cosmetology will be collecting new to gently used blankets, hats, gloves, and scarves to donate to the homeless shelter. We'll be collecting these items through December 8th. If you'd like to participate, please drop off all items during ICU to room 420B. Yearbook staff applications are due to Miss Meadows by January 19th. SCHS will be hosting its first ever swim meet at Smyrna High School on December 9th at 10 a.m. If you're looking for community service hours or you'd just like to support the swim team, we are in need of volunteers to serve as timers and assist in running the meet. If you're interested, please see Ms. Flannery in room 508. Did you know socks are the most requested item at a homeless shelter? Beta Club is trying to change that. Next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday before school, Beta Club is accepting pa donations of new unopened packs of socks for the Nas Nashville Rescue Mission. Socks for men, women, and children are all accepted. Help spread some holiday cheer by donating some Jingle Bell socks. The Spanish Club Christmas party will be right af after exams on Thursday, December 14th in room 126. The club will provide lunch catered by La Siesta. Members should bring desserts and whatever they'd like to drink. After lunch, we'll go to the elementary school to sing Christmas carols in, sp in Spanish. Please wear your club shirt. Yearbooks prices go up on Friday, December 8th. Right now, you can buy a book for $82 online or bring money to Miss Meadows Room 105. They make a great Christmas gift, and you can add your name for only $7 more. Seniors, make sure to remind your parents that senior recognition ads for the yearbook are due December 20th. Calling all teachers, the annual PTO Ugly Christmas Sweater Contest is back. Friday, December 8th, teachers will don their uh, ugliest Christmas sweater to compete for a fourth period pizza party and a rant a random drawing for a $50 massage gift card. Please meet Mr. Bissinger in the front lobby by the Christmas tree by 8, 10 a.m. The winner will be announced by the end of the day Friday. Students, no electronic devices should be used unless they are part of a lesson and with previous approval from Dr. Harrell. There are no exceptions to this rule for teacher aides. Electronic devices include, but are not limited to, cell phones, earbuds, laptops, tablets, beats, etc. This is in the class, the hallway, the cafeteria, or gym during the school day. Now to sports, weather, and today in history. Good morning, Stewart's Creek. I'm Penny. And I'm Sneed. And here's an update on your sports. The Nashville Predators defeated the Dallas Stars last night. The final score was 5-2. The Memphis Grizzlies take on the New York Knicks tonight at 7 p.m. The Champions League continues as today is the final day of the group stage. The girls' basketball team defeated Smyrna by 65 points last night. The boys' team won 65-63 in overtime last night versus Smyrna. The Red Hawks are back in action Friday as they take on Laverne. Now to Jemiah with the weather. Good morning, Stewart's Creek. I have your weather. Today, we'll, be, we'll have a, a 50 and a low of 30, just partly cloudy. After school will be 49 degrees and still partly cloudy. Tomorrow will be a high of 45 and a low of 21 and 10% chance of rain. Now about to Elaine for today in history. Good morning, Little Hats. What happened on the 6th of December in history? In 1877, first recording of human voice made by Thomas Edison. And today is National Gaspacho Day. Now back to Mackenzie and Catherine. Students, remember to wish a happy birthday to Ms. Dana Meyerson. The basketball teams would like to thank everyone who came out last night to support them in their games against Smyrna. Follow us on Twitter at Stewart's Creek AV. That's all for today's announcement, Stewart's Creek, and remember we are one team.